Good evening, everybody. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm wearing my green today so I won't get pinched. Do you remember that from when you were in school? If you didn't wear green on St. Patrick's Day, you got pinched? Or maybe that was just at my school. I don't know. They were kind of mean. <laughs> it is a pretty rough school district where I went to... Um, elementary school. So, hi Wendy, hi Rachel, Linda, welcome. Glad to see you guys popping in here. Lori. Yeah, and so um, I had another Facebook Live this morning for my team and I told this story like, I can never find my holiday t-shirts when I need them. Like, they're always packed someplace, blah, blah, blah. So, when I cleaned up my dressing room, and for those of you that might be new, it's just an empty bedroom in our house, but I call it a dressing room because that's fancy, right? <laughs> so anyways, when I cleaned out my dressing room and got rid of a whole bunch of clothes and made sure everything was sorted and neat and all that stuff organized, I have a stack in my closet on a shelf now of just holiday clothing. It includes my Green Bay Packer wear, my Milwaukee Brewers wear, Valentine, 4th of July, Halloween, Christmas, and St. Patrick's Day. So, yeah, I found my shirt this morning and I put it on. And now I'm also sporting these beauties. What do you guys think? Yeah, Aren't those fun? Very festive today. So, some of you might not know this, but my maiden name is Flynn. So Kelly Flynn is pretty darn Irish, right? I'm not really Irish though. I don't think so. I'm pretty German, I, I think. German, a little bit of Indian in there. And I don't know what else. Have you guys, I would really, I think I was thinking about this the other day, maybe doing that ancestry thing and see just what are you? Um, I heard about someone, and this wasn't so cool, that did the ancestry thing and they, all their life, believed that they were 100% Italian. Well, not 100%, but you know. And their their um, mom was Italian, their dad was Italian, but it turned out when they did the ancestry thing, their brothers and sisters were some percentage of Italian, but this particular brother was not and when they asked mom about it, who's quite elderly, she wouldn't talk about it. So they don't know where he came from. <laughs> but how embarrassing. Like, that's a huge family secret, right? And to have it outed on um, some poor little old lady was, I don't know, kind of crappy. <laughs> uh, oh, you've got Green Bay Packer wear on today. Good for you. Um, yeah, so I found out this morning when I was like, oh, it's St. Patrick's Day. I need to wear green. And then I thought, don't I have a St. Patrick's Day shirt? But before that, I was looking through my closet. It's like, yeah, I guess I'm not really a fan of green because I don't have any green hanging in my closet. I have some Green Bay Packer stuff on my holiday shelf. <laughs> so I found it. Jenny says she is Irish and Scottish. Ooh, good for you. Yeah. Um, I actually, uh, my relatives were part of the Statlers that came over from... Germany, the Statler Hotel line type deal. Don't worry, we don't have any of that. <laughs> That's where they kind of came from. So that was pretty neat. Hi, Sahara. Um, and Sharon, welcome. I see Brooke is on. Brooke just dropped off a bunch of work. I'm getting ready for the kit classes to start compiling them um, later this week. So Brooke was doing some, some die cutting for me. Yay! Uh, no, it wasn't adoption, Deb. It was quite an embarrassing family fiasco. So, <laughs> Michelle says she is half Irish. Good for you. Um, oh, yeah, a friend found out that her dad isn't her dad through one of those tests. Yeah, it's kind of cruddy, right? Like, you should never not tell your kids the truth because that can be quite traumatic, right? You know, and, and it's trauma that doesn't need to happen, I guess. I don't know. It's up to you. It's your business, not mine. Anyways. Yesterday, um, we did these adorable cards, right, in all the different colors. And I had some other things to show you using that punch. And I just completely forgot the punch and the stamp set. So I thought, well, you got a second shot today because we're doing another live. Did I just see it? Hi, Jody. 
um, I'm actually demonstrating one of your cards today. So uh, this that we made in the Facebook Live Sunday night, this is also using that little bloom, small bloom punch, this little baby. This is part of celebration. You get it free with your $100 order. You get the stamp set free with your $50 order. And then also this card that I made um, for stamp clubs, I believe. And this is going out to our lucky winner. And Lana Tavano, you are the winner of our prize giveaway from yesterday. So I'm sending you this card and the stamp set and I've already got your envelope all ready to grow, go here. And I will throw that in the mail. Um, the other thing I used that little bloom punch on was this. Remember the little Easter basket? Oh my gosh, they're so stinking adorable, right? And we used it. It matches the Please Dis Punch paper. We used it on this. And I know everything's backwards, you guys. You can't read this. I'm still dealing with that flashing thing when I mirror my screen on a Facebook Live. So I'm hoping that'll go away pretty soon. Oh, and then don't forget about this. This was from Haley's Baby Shower. I made these to hold the flowers on the tables for centerpieces. The little flowers on the inside are made with that punch also. So pretty cool. Ooh, look, I've got another one here. Do I have one more? I don't think so. I think this is the end. The end for me. Yeah. So anyways, I just forgot to share all those yesterday. So I thought I might as well do that. And then... I was talking about, oh, you guys are so sweet to congratulate Lana. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, then I forgot to, um, well, I didn't forget. Yesterday, I was talking about remodeling my daughter Haley's old bedroom and that we put new flooring in it. I remembered to bring it downstairs. <gasps> Do you love it? Yeah, I asked her. She picked it out because her and Jared are planning on buying this house, but... We're still kind of remodeling things just in case at the last minute they change their mind and we need to sell our house when we're ready because it's way too big. It's five bedrooms and oh my Lord, it's just me and Steve rattling around in this great big old house. But so I've been asking her, what color should I paint this? What kind of flooring do you want? You know, da da da. So she's been picking the stuff out and she is like Miss Pinterest. She has absolutely fabulous decorating style and... um. I can't wait to show you guys. I don't think I showed you pictures of the baby's nursery yet. I don't know if I did, but it is to die for. It belongs on Pinterest as like the poster room for babies. It's so, so pretty. But anyways, that's my new flooring. I thought I'd share that with you. Now, today I have two cards to share with you. We're going to be using the Positive Thought stamp set. You'll be able to see this and read it when I flip the phone around. And also the dies that go with it. And they are called Nature's Thoughts. These are, um, I die cut and stamped all of them so you can see what's included in there. Now these dies are only available until the end of March. So yeah, I wanted to give you some more ideas to see if this is something that you need to add to your arsenal of stamping supplies <laughs> before it's too late. The Positive Thoughts is in our Spring Mini catalog. So that will continue to be available. Um... But the dies are part of that coordination product coordinate coordination product release. Remember this? Yeah. So um, I wanted to make sure that I kind of highlighted that because I hate it when I miss something. And I didn't even know. I didn't even know that I missed it. It's like, oh, I didn't know I had to get it before then. So I wanted to let you guys know about that. All right. I think... Yeah, so Jody, <laughs> um, that's exactly what we're going to do. Jody just said, just think if you took out a couple walls upstairs, you'd have an amazing stamp room. And we have a five bedroom house. One of the bedrooms upstairs is really little, like really, really small. And so I think what we're going to do is we are going to knock the wall out between my dressing room, bedroom, dressing room, fancy, and that little tiny bedroom and make that my new stamping room instead of moving into the master bedroom. So um, my friend Rachel popped over one day and she's like, why don't you just knock this wall out? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know why I didn't even think of that. So we might do that. And I'm kind of excited about it because my room I think will be bigger than the master bedroom. Yeah. And the little bedroom is kind of worthless. We'll still have a four bedroom house, right? So resale value is good on that. 
And uh, having that dumb little bedroom, I don't think that adds anything. Except when we moved in here, we had four kids. And um, we had three girls and a boy. My stepkids all lived with us. And um, I conned the boy, Stephen was his name, into taking the little bedroom. So he got the TV. Nobody else had a TV in their room, but he got the TV because he took the little bedroom. So there was a little bit of bribery there, and it worked out really good for all of us. But it was nice that each kid had their own bedroom, right? And then Steve and I shared a room. This room, actually. My stamp room was my bedroom when we first bought this house. So, yeah. Okay. Are we ready to stamp? Um, I see we just hit 200 people watching. I think we're ready to stamp. Where will the dressing room move to? Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of sad to lose that, but maybe into the guest room because that's the Haley's old bedroom we just redid. That's going to be our guest room. I'll probably move it into there. And all it really is is a desk so I can do my hair and makeup in the morning, you know, get ready and um, tweeze my eyebrows and all the things. And then I use the closet for all my clothes. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. It's going to be some changes for sure. All right, I'm ready to flip the camera around. You guys, if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. And uh, I've got my phone plugged in. I've got Do Not Disturb on. Hang on, I'm trying to adjust my cord. And I've got my glasses on so I can read. I think we're in business today. I think I've, well, I don't want to say anything too soon, but I was going to say I might have it all together. <laughs> it's probably not. Okay, let's flip. Close your eyes. And we are going to get set up. We're not ready yet, so don't don't open your eyes if you get motion sickness because I'm jiggling you all over the place. Let's get rid of this over here. And I think we're good. Okay, so here is that stamp set. Is it glaring? I hate it when it glares. Um, and here are the dies that go with it. So, so pretty. So I've got everything out here, and the first card that I'm going to make for you is really pretty and it's actually coming from um, so on my team we also I also run a virtual swap group and the virtual swap group is where people um, make a card take a picture of it type up a recipe page and they post it to the group with photos and then we get to use those and I can use them online to share with you so when we get to the second card, I will show you an actual, we call them project sheets, and I will be able to post a project sheet today for both cards that I'm going to show you on my blog that you can print out or save to your computer. I'm sorry, post it. I'll post the file on Facebook. I'll carry it over to my blog. You can print it out. You can download it to your computer and save it, but it's pretty nice because it's got all the dimensions in it, all the colors, all the ingredients, and some written instructions with a photograph. Boom. Pretty sweet, right? Okay, and I am going to find this on my screen right now so that I can follow along with your comments now that I have you turned around. So just give me a second. Here I come, and there I am. All right, I can see my hands going like this. <laughs> Somebody just said they love the positive thought stamp set. Nature's, nature's thoughts are the dyes. Um... Oh, and Jody just said the Nature's Thoughts dies are carrying over. So that's really good to know. I did not know that. So thank you, Jody. I appreciate that. Okay, we're going to move these out of the way. And we're going to bring in our ink colors. I've got Mary Merlot, Rococo Rose, and Mint Macron. And if I didn't say this, this is Kathy Miller's card. Kathy is one of my team members. She's actually my very first team member ever. She's been with me for 15 years. So that's pretty exciting. And then I've got a Whisper White layer. This is four by five and a quarter. I've got a two by five and a quarter inch Mary Merlot. I've got, I don't remember what the size was on this. Hang on. I've got a three and a half by three and a quarter inch layer of Whisper White. My Mint Macron is three and five eighths by three and three eighths. And a Rococo Rose base that's five and a half by eight and a half. We're just gonna fold and burnish that edge good. 
I made um, all of Haley's thank you cards for her shower out of Rococo Rose because that's kind of the color that we went with for everything. So that was kind of fun. And maybe I'll show those to you tomorrow. So, okay. Um, oh, I don't know why. I don't need a scrap. Sorry. I was mistaken. Kathy's like, what are you making? Um, yeah. Okay. Let me get your um, comments to scroll. First thing we're going to do here is we're going to take our mint macaron and we're going to stamp this beautiful leaf image. I absolutely love this. And we're just going to stamp it oh, right about here. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then right here. Okay, next we're going to come in with our Rococo Rose. I almost stuck my finger in it. <laughs> Not quite. And we're going to stamp a flower here and here and here. Isn't that pretty? Then we're going to bring in that Mary Merlot and we're going to stamp the sentiment and this I love the font on this. It says sending positive thoughts and feel good wishes. This could be for just about anything, right? This is a great card to make for people that might be quarantined right now or just self-quarantined or whatever the case may be. We need to spread a little bit of joy around and we can do that with our stamping. Who wouldn't? I just, you know what I did? Today I sent my mom a card in the mail um, and I do that from time to time. I mean, of course I do, right? But I sent her a card in the mail and just told her I wanted to send her a smile. And she's going to get her mail, which has just crappy old bills in it. And she's going to be thrilled to death that I thought of her, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, Char says she has problems with the new ink pads. She always has ink all over herself. It is something to get used to, right? I mean, not going to not gonna lie. Those raised pads, and they're a little bit different. We're used to opening them a little bit different. But once you use them more frequently, of course, it'll get easier. I promise. Okay, next thing I want to do here, I want to take my butterfly. I just cleaned the butterfly. I didn't even use it. That was silly. <laughs> and we're going to stamp that in the Rococo Rose. And we're just going to stamp it right up this side of our card. Now, I'm, I did it like that because we're going to cover a lot of this. So we're going to set that aside. And I do not have anything pre-ready. Well, a couple things, but not a lot. So I didn't want it to take me a ton of time to get ready to do these impromptu Facebook Lives. I just stuck my finger right in the ink. Hang on. Don't worry. I have baby wipes at the ready. Yeah, these are the kind that I use. They're Huggies. First of all, Huggies is made in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and also Nina, Wisconsin is our diaper plant. And I got the cucumber and the green tea scent. These are the refreshing clean, and I like them because they're nice and thick, and they smell really good. But they're not overpowering, you know what I mean? I hate it when they're just so fragrant that, ugh. Okay, I'm going to bring in my platforms here. Hang on. Usually I don't do big shotting because most of us know how to do that. But like I said, I wanted to keep my prep time for these Facebook Lives very short. All I had to do was cut some cardstock. We're going to take this Coastal Weave embossing folder. This is part of the Tropical Oasis suite of products. And oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. Now I'm going to put that two by five and a quarter inch piece of Mary Merlot in here. And I just noticed that I have a blue star on here. And for me, that means I have to take all these plates out so that all I have is my bottom platform. And I need to grab, hang on. Uh-oh. Here it is. I need to grab my blue plate. This is the one that you use with the new 3D folders. Okay, we're going to emboss this layer. There we go. Let me move this aside. I'm gonna set all this stuff out of my way so I have room to work here. Work, isn't that funny that I get to call this work? <laughs> it's not work, it's all fun and games, right? It is most of the time. Okay, so here's this piece. 
We've also got our white inside layer, and I think maybe what I want to do with that is add one of my Rococo Rose flowers here. That looks nice. And let's see if I want to do some of our leaves. Just maybe, I don't know, coming in like that. What do you guys think? I think I kind of jacked it up right there a little bit, so... There's always two sides to your cardstock. And I love that. I love that Stampin' Up! has two sides, right? <laughs> yeah, you bet, Kelly. And no, I have not been drinking. <laughs> this is just how I am. Look at how pretty that is, right? That's just pretty. Okay, here we go with the inside of our card. Get this in here straight. And now for the front, we're going to take this layer that we ran through the Coastal Weave embossing folder. I'm going to bring in our Mint Macaron ribbon. This is just so, so pretty. And this is the, um, it's called Textile Ribbon. It's a quarter inch wide. And I'm going to put this right here. Oh, I see. Hang on just a second. Where's my scissors? Right here. And Kathy used our little eighth inch ribbon that comes in Mint Macron on her card. Just so you know, when you see the project sheet, um, it's got a little bit different ribbon on it. And I didn't realize that. I just grabbed this one. Thought this was what I was supposed to be using. And it is going to be beautiful. All right, so we've got that on there. The next thing I want to do is tie a bow, and I'm just going to tie a tiny little bow. I think I'm going to get my bow jig. You guys have seen me use these like all the time. This is nothing more than a piece of wood with holes drilled in it and finish nails, or whatever these are called. Okay, they don't have a big head on them. Um, that's all these are, you guys. So I have people contacting me all the time wanting me to... Um, send them one of these. We don't sell these. It's just a chunk of wood with some holes in it. And ask a neighbor, if you don't have a drill and you can't find a chunk of wood, ask a neighbor if they have just a little piece of wood that they can drill some holes in it for you. The middle holes are one inch apart and then there's two more holes on each side at a half an inch. Super simple. Bows are fabulous. I have a video dedicated to how to tie a bow with the bow jig. Now, my friend Denise will be coming back from Arizona, but probably not until mm, later April, early May. So if you, her husband makes them, and if you would like one, um, I can hook you up with her, but not right now. Please don't email me now. She's gone, and she does not want emails that she can't deal with right now. So I told her I would hold off and only send emails once she's back. Okay, there we go. Now, we're gonna take this layer and we're gonna add it to the front of the card. Here we go. So Steve is not feeling so hot again today. He's got a bad headache, but he's still doing a few things. He was working on the room a little bit, getting that ceiling fan put back together. He went and bought a new grill. I bought him an early, um, Father's Day present. He's not my father, but you know, you know how it is, right, ladies? We know how this goes. Um, <laughs> I bought him a new grill. Our grill, the grate just fell on the ground, like it's done. So I bought him a new grill for Father's Day, and he was he went shopping for that today. All right, here comes this layer again, and I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of that. We're gonna need a few because it's kind of a big layer, right? Now, I didn't tell you which, this isn't square, but you could certainly cut it square. And I didn't tell you which way was the tall way and which way was the wide way, because I have no idea. <laughs> I didn't even, it does, it's not gonna matter. Get that off of there, here we go. Okay, we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it down a little bit and close to the edge. And again, this is exactly how Kathy Miller made it. She makes beautiful cards. She's one of my team members and I got this card in a swap. I was actually online looking at our virtual swap group. Kathy will get a kick out of this. And I found her card and I'm like, ooh, I can make that for today. 
And then I went through my swap cards to see if I had more with this set. And there I have the exact card. So how funny is that? And of course, I love it. So I'm going to grab some rhinestones here. I think I'm going to take a big rhinestone and put it right there. Because we need to bling this up just a touch, don't you think? Maybe another one right there. And another one right there. I love that. We've got this. We've got the inside. What do you guys think? Isn't that so, so pretty? Love it. Yeah. Oh, and Vicki Edmondson says she cased this card too. It is really, really pretty. All right, I had an envelope and I'm going to grab a scrap of paper. Anytime that I have a really nice floral um, stamp like this, I really like to do the flap of my envelope because I just think it's a spectacular look on the envelope. So I'm going to take my Rococo Rose and I'm just going to randomly stamp this. And notice how I kind of move these around and I don't stamp like right in the middle. You want to kind of make sure that they're real random. So it just looks like it goes on and on forever. And look at how pretty that is, right? Oh my goodness. Gorgeous. All right, that's our first card. I've also got another card to show you after we make the next one. So let me clean up some of this stuff and get it out of my way. What are you guys drinking tonight? I've got my strawberry lemonade. Good old, you know, I, I'm so a creature of habit. I can't even tell you that, yeah, <laughs> I'm weird that way. It's like when I find something that I like, I'm just good with it. I'm satisfied. I don't need a bunch of changes going on. It's kind of funny, right? All right. Next card, we are coming in with Pear Pizzazz. Oh, by the way, if anybody would like to order the um, stamp set called Positive Thoughts or the Dies, you'll find an online ordering button on my blog in the right-hand column. It'll say Order Online. And um, I always appreciate your orders. I always thank you for them. I was sending out thank you cards last night till the wee hours. I think I went to bed at about 1.30. And um, I got some thank you cards sent out for um, orders. So, yeah, it's fun. I love doing that. So if you want, if you are placing an order and your order is under $150. Oh, you know what? I want to do one more thing here. Hang on, we'll talk about that in a second. I have butterflies. I'm gonna do a butterfly on the front. Because why not? Because <laughs> we have it right here. So we've got butterflies and flowers. Yeah. Um, if your order's under $150, you wanna use this host code that helps me out a lot. That's what allows me to be doing giveaways. Like that stuff doesn't come out of my pocket. Um, it's, it's a strategic thing that I do in marketing and um, when you use that host code, it allows me to be able to buy things to give away. So it's a pretty, pretty cool deal. Stampin' Up um, takes good care of us that way. Okay, this is our sh um, Stampin' Chamois, or Simply Chamois. It's called Simply Chamois. And all you do to clean your stamps is you just push it in there and twist it and turn it a little bit. And boom, everything's golden. All right. Oh, wait, I forgot something got ahead of myself there. So this is Mary Merlot scraps. And in with our dies is this little butterfly, right? So one thing that I did prepare ahead of time was some of those die cut out of Mary Merlot. That's what you needed the Mary Merlot scrap for. And so I need to bring that back in here and get these little butterflies put on here. So I'm just going to, let me dump those down there. Put some glue on here, there we go. And I'll put maybe a little butterfly right here. And I don't have my picture. The one that, um, I don't have my picture of Kathy's card that she did for online because she had butterflies in that one, but not this, this one. And that's okay, because I get it, it's a lot. When you do a swap, cutting out three of these for each swap is like crazy town, yeah. I just had my assistant, Brooke, and I see she's on here watching, bless her heart. 
um, she's probably hating life right now, but she just die cut 340 die cuts for me <laughs> for the kit class. It's crazy. Okay, look at those butterflies. What do you guys think? Was that a nice addition? Yeah, and then the other thing I wanted to do was a little bit of Wink of Stella. So I'm just going to come in here and add a little bit of Wink to my flowers, and I know that's hard for you to see in the camera, but trust me, you can see it in real life. Here we go. I'm gonna add a little bit here, and I'm just kind of painting it on the more bold petals of my flower. You don't have to get too crazy with it. Look at how pretty that is. Mmm, so delicious. Can you see that in the light? Yeah. Good job, Kathy Miller. That is an amazing card. I love it. I love the colors. I love the ribbon. Um, here's the thinner ribbon. This is the swap card that I got. Here's the little thinner ribbon. This is our eighth inch. So, so pretty, right? Yeah. Okay, next. Now we're ready for the next one. Let me put this little jewel away. This one has a little bit more die cutting on it. And let me find it first. We're also going to be incorporating the um, Stitched So Sweetly dies. Now, if you guys haven't gotten these yet, they're in our spring mini catalog. I love them. And of course, um, these are fabulous. These two are fabulous, but these are my favorite because they layer inside of each other so beautifully. I just, oh, they're so much fun. Let me get these back in here. Okay, we're gonna be using the biggest rectangle. And I'm going to bring in some of the So Very Vellum. Here comes all of our layers. And here's our So Very Vellum. And now we're going to do a little bit of die cutting. So let me grab my big shot. Here we go. That right under there. I'm using my magnetic platform right now to die cut, maybe if I, oh, here's my framelit, to die cut right out of the middle of the So Very Vellum Purple Posy. And I'm gonna pull this down here. I just had a scrap in my bin and I can see that it's pretty darn big here. So I'll make the most out of it and I can use what's left over for something else, right? I got that much left over, so that's pretty cool. Okay, who's drinking coffee? Patty's drinking coffee. Patty, are you feeling better? I hope you are. Oh, I'm going to run this through again. I got one edge that's kind of catching there. I know Patty was sick, and I hope you're just feeling better. Here we go. All right, there we go. Isn't that pretty? And it does the stitching around the edges, too, so it's pretty neat. All right, you guys, my friend Rachel just arrived to give me a helping hand. <laughs> or a hand. <laughs> okay, next what we've got here is we've got some of our Tropical Oasis Designer Series paper. And you're like, what does this have to do with our Positive Thoughts stamp set? Like, what are you doing, Kelly? Well, um, actually, this was Jody's idea, and I love it. She used this design on her card, and it's very soft and subtle. I absolutely love it. It's like the it's a pool party shade with that print in it. So that's what we've got here. We've got the bright flowers on the back and the pool party shade here. I've got a card base of thick whisper white. It's um, five and a half by eight and a half. I've scored it in the middle at four and a quarter, and I'm just going to fold that in half and burnish that edge. And then we're gonna bring this layer in and add it to the card front. I've had a lot of fun with this Tropical Oasis Designer Series paper too. It's got just such pretty colors in it. Here we go. Next thing we're gonna do is take the vellum and we're gonna add this to the front of our card. And what I'm gonna do, I know what the card looks like, so I know this area down here is gonna be covered and this area here is going to be covered. So I'm putting glue there and there, and I'm just gonna set this right in the middle. Now I don't like to see glue or tape or anything through the front of my vellum. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to see this. You can see there's some scribbly marks with the glue and right down here, but we're gonna cover that up with dyes so it doesn't matter. 
Okay, next thing. I have a scrap of Whisper White, and we're gonna do a little bit of stamping with the images. We're gonna stamp a couple flowers. This is Daffodil Delight. There's one, oh my gosh, that's so pretty, isn't it? Very vibrant. And then we're going to do a Grapefruit Grove Butterfly right here and a pear pizzazz spriggy leaf thing and we'll do that how about right up here I want to make sure I'm leaving enough space in between all of these now um, I think I need another scroll. yeah I need another scrap so hang on here comes another white scrap we're gonna stamp the other sentiment and I'm gonna use Memento Black Ink for that. And we're gonna stamp that. Let's see. I'm gonna do it right here. This is just a scrap again. There we go. I haven't made this card before, so Jody's probably going, oh, she's gonna screw it up. And um, I may. <laughs> Don't worry. I might not disappoint you, but I'm sure it'll be okay. Okay, so what Jody did is she die cut it like this so we're gonna do that hang tight put that away oh and by the way this is the die that comes in the um, nature's thoughts dies is that what they're called yeah nature's thoughts so hang on let's get that big shot in here again oops I'm right-handed so I always have my handle over here so here comes our sentiment And I'm going to put this on here. And then one other thing that I wanted to share with you guys that I think is like a pretty valuable piece of information, maybe. Hang on. Where did my tape go? Oh, here it is. So I like this low-tech artist tape. It's made by Scotch. And even though it is an artist tape and it's low-tech, I always kind of take it and stick it on my clothes. And I do that a couple times just so I'm guaranteed it's not too sticky that it's going to tear my cardstock. So I'm going to put this on here to hold it in place. I don't want that to move while I'm positioning my plate on top. And we will die cut that. And then if I read the instructions right... Jody, are you holding your breath? <laughs> See if I can do this right? Um, I'm pretty sure that Jody took this then and moved it down here because we just want a little piece of this sentiment die cut. I'm going to do that. So this is a way that even though you have a large rectangle, you can now use it in a different size. And I thought that was pretty genius. So here we go. Look at that. And it's got all those little dotty dots all around the outside. Very, very cool. Now, I can reuse this tape over and over again. And one of my team members, Christine, is the one who told me about the tape. So I just tape it right here on the side of my um, Big Shot. Now we have some more die cutting to do. Where did my dies go? Here they are. We're going to bring out the leaf here. Aw, Karen said, thanks for adding a bright spot to our day. You're so welcome, and thank you for adding a bright spot to my day, because I was excited about doing this all day. I, I love doing these. They're fun. So you're very welcome. Here's um, my butterfly and my flowers. So I think I'm going to cut all of these out at the same time, and I can do that if I can keep everything in place, right? So once again, I've got another piece of tape here. I'm going to take my shirt and stick it on there a couple times. And here comes our flower. Let's see. Now the flower is a little, you got to kind of look at it and see. I always kind of look for the big pieces that stick out far. Like, is this the right way? Nope. We'll get it. Hang on. How about right here? No. 
Well, for Pete's sakes. Once you get it, then you never forget it, right? I think this one goes right there. Yep, that's it. Okay, so here's how I figured it out. This one has a big petal and then a little petal right next to it, and this one is big and that one's little. So I'm like, oh, I bet you it goes like that, and sure enough, that's how it fits in there. All right, here we go. Let me get this in place. And then I'm going to do my butterfly Whoops, at the same time here. And I'll grab another piece of low-tech tape. And again with my shirt. Ooh, that's such a green, isn't it? Holy cow. Here comes our butterfly. Let's see if I can get this lined up right. Okay. Three things at once. Boom. Love that. Whoops. Did you see this move? It just moved. I didn't get it stuck down very good. Here we go. Okay. Now I think we're ready. Okay. And then we have one more flower to cut out. Look at how pretty that is. Yeah, gorgeous, right? Then here's our flower. That turned out pretty darn good. Here is our butterfly. Love that. And we have one more. Now I'm going to take all of these tapes and put them right here on my handle and grab this one and die cut this flower. Okay, so I've got my little two petal thing going on right there. I know that's where it goes into position and sure enough, it's kind of like putting a puzzle together, right? A little bit like that, figuring it out. Here we go. Whoops, I just pushed all my tape off my handle. Oh well. And here's our last flower. And I'll put these back on here so I can just keep reusing them. I don't know where the last one went. Did you guys see where that went? I don't know. Anyways, here it is, right here. Oops. I'll just set that right there. Okay. Now, one thing that I did do ahead of time is I die cut. I have a scrap here of mint macaron and soft sea foam. And there's a feather die in here that's really cool. It die cuts a feather and it embosses it at the same time. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that's the back. This is the front. So I die cut that out of soft sea foam. And then there's this little spriggy die that I die cut out of mint macaron. There's that piece. Put my all my dies back in here so I don't lose them. There we go. And I think we're ready to put our card together. This is kind of exciting. Because I haven't made this yet. Like, this is all new to me. <laughs> okay. Bring my piercing mat back in here. We'll get rid of these. We don't need those because I already did them. And all our little elements. Here we go. I know that we're going to put dimensionals on the back of our sentiment layer. So I'll get those ready to roll. And let's see. I, I don't know what else we're going to layer up, but we're going to do this first. I really like the way she used this and made a much smaller rectangle than what, what it was intended for. Because that gives you a lot of uses for your dies, right? When you can modify them like that. I'm just going to, whoops, I'm just going to offset this from the bottom a little bit. This is what Jody did with her card. And then we're going to come in here and put all the flowers in. We're going to put the sprig of leaf in right here. Now you want to make sure it doesn't go above the top of your card because then it won't fit in an envelope. We need these to fit in an envelope. And we'll do this right over here. I think I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of the feather. And I'll do that up, up a little bit higher. Just one will be fine. This little sprig is going to come in here. This is going to go up there. Okay, we're ready for glue. 
Oh, and then don't forget our butterfly. That'll get some dimensionals on it too. Got glue there, glue there, glue here. Um, right up here. So start with this one. Just add that in. And then you're going to come in with a yellow flower. And we're going to just bring that in right here. Another flower right over here. I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the back of my little spriggy deal here. Just a tiny little bit. Tuck that right down in here. Here's our butterfly. And our feather. So the feather goes on second to last. And we're just going to put that right in here. And here comes our butterfly. And we're going to add that right over the bottom of our um, feather. Look at all that stacking. Looks really nice. I'm going to slide this in just a little bit to cover up the bottom stem there. And let's see if I can pop this up. Because as I'm looking at Jody's, oh, without wrecking it. Come on. There we go. Put a little more glue on this and reposition it a little bit. It's just going to look better because it'll look more like hers. And she did a really good job. There we go. Okay, what do you guys think of that? Now, I want to add some rhinestones. And I'm going to take some of these little ones. I think I'll put one maybe right here, as long as we have them out. And then how about one right there and one right here. Does that look good? I think that looks really nice. Then the other thing I have is my envelope. So I think, where did that piece of paper go that I used? Right here. I think we should stamp up our envelope, right? And I'm going to do the same thing with the Daffodil Delight and the flap. And then I think I will put the leaves maybe on the front. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. And here's our green. Let me do this. How about like that? Put it on. Ta da! Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful card. Love this. I loved the, her layout. I loved her combination of colors. This So Very Vellum, that is one of our second release items from Celebration. You get that free with your $50 order. And then we used the um, Stitched So Sweetly. I gotta put this away before I lose it. The Stitch So Sweetly guys, okay, and that's what we use to cut out the vellum on that one, and I don't know where that died. Did I put it back? I don't think I did. Oops, it's here somewhere. Oh, here it is, right here. So we'll put that back in there. Put these away, and we use the Coastal Weave. Um... Oh, you know what? I didn't do anything to the inside of this. I was thinking about putting a strip of cardstock right here. What do you think about that? Do you like that idea? Let me know. Who wants cardstock in there? I'm scrolling my screen right now because it's not staying. <laughs> Cindy said the envelope is a work of art. It is, right? <laughs> and Wendy has to get the vellum. Yeah, you do. I, I understand. You do. I think I'm going to go with this. I think this is a pretty little accent for the inside of the card. And I'm just gonna leave a little white strip on the right side. And then we'll trim off this top. Just, oops, just like this. There we go. There it is. Okay, let me get this mess out of the way. Here's our beautiful card and envelope. Our other beautiful card and envelope, both using the Positive Thoughts stamp set. 
the, where did my dies go again? Right here. Oh my lord. The Nature's Thoughts dies. And here again is a rundown of what's involved with those. Yeah, you get a lot of stuff in here. These dies are only available till March 31st. The stamp set is available until like June 2nd or something like that. Also these, oh, and Jody said it's carrying over. So I didn't realize that. I'm sorry, they're, they're available beyond March 31st. So let me just retract that. And then what about this? Do, you said that, right, Jody? What about these Stitch So Sweetly? Have we heard if these are carrying over? I don't know for sure, but I do love them a lot. Like, love. It's a strong word, and I mean it. Okay, um, I have one more card to show you. I actually had two, but I sent one out already. This one I did in Blackberry Bliss. You can see there's that element right there that's part of the dies. And I use copper embossing for this. And the brick and mortar embossing folder on the background. And this is Crumb Cake and Blackberry Bliss with copper embossing. And I did the same thing. Look at I did the same thing on the envelope. Did I put it? Oh, I put the leaf on the front of this one. Okay. I wanted to make sure I put something on the front. So, this card, friends like you mean more every year. Again, just an amazing card to be sending out to people right now who may be isolating themselves due to the, you know, coronavirus. This is a great card to be sending to your friends. Let them know that you're thinking about them. Maybe just a neighbor. Um, it's a great reason to be stamping right now. And you know that our stamping is our therapy, right? Hang tight. I'm going to flip you around so I don't have to talk to the back of your head. You know how I hate that. <laughs> Ooh, and the sun is coming in. This is why this is not a good time for me to be um, doing a video. Let me see if I can get that glare down a little bit. There we go. Okay. So this is a great time to be sharing our passion and our love of stamping with our friends and family. And, you know, help bring them a little comfort. Let them know that somebody's thinking about them, right? It's a good time. This is a fabulous, these are fabulous cards to make for nursing homes. You know, they've locked out their family and friends. They can't come in right now. You can take these and drop them off at a nursing home and um, write a note in them and ask them to distribute them to some of the people there or all of the people or call and find out how many you need. This is what we do. Like, we share our passion for paper crafts to make people happy, right? So, I challenge you. I'm challenging you to make some cards of course you don't have to make this card but make some cards and send them out to um people that you know that are sticking at home so that they don't so that they know somebody's care, care somebody cares and somebody's thinking about them <laughs> i'm a little distracted rachel just asked me like is she supposed to do this i've got like a list over there of things she's doing She's stamping my return address on the back of the celebration brochures right now. So she's like, and I'm like, <laughs> so yeah, we got double duty going on here tonight. Um, so anyway, share your passion. Now, make sure that if you came on, oh, and Carol says that the, their nursing homes won't let them bring the cards there. You could perhaps mail them. And yes, over there. You could perhaps mail them or call the nursing home and ask them, okay? I want you to ask first before you just assume you can do things. So that's always good. Kathleen says, a friend and I are making 150 cards for a local nursing home. What a great thing to do, right? First of all, it's going to keep you busy. It's our therapy. It makes us happy. Rachel, Brooke says hi. Hey, <laughs> Brooke is my other assistant. <laughs> And it's a good reason for you to be using your stamping supplies. And that's what makes us happy. Anyways, leave a comment because everybody that's commenting. Um, <laughs> Hi, Haley. I see Haley has another ultrasound next week. I'm coming. Tell me what time. And, oh, can I come? No. Yeah, I don't know. Um, anyways, leave a comment. I'm doing a drawing every week. And I didn't get out a prize for today. Um... Yeah, Rachel's going to pick out the prize that we're going to give away tomorrow. So today I am sending this. Okay, hand it over. I am sending this, sending you thoughts, 
And this card right here is going out to Lana Trevano. Lana was the big winner from yesterday's Facebook Live. Rachel just picked out of my door prize bin. This is what's up for tomorrow. Yeah, so leave a comment on this Facebook Live and I will be doing a drawing. Now, if you're watching later, I've been uploading these to YouTube, or I did yesterday, like I will again today. Leave a comment on YouTube and you'll be entered in the drawing to win also because I do go to YouTube and check out all of those to make sure that you guys are getting entered in these too. So, okay. I think that, um, yeah, and do you guys have any requests for tomorrow? Because, like, I don't even know what I'm going to do. That's why I'm not scheduling a time. I'm, I'm on at the same time as was yesterday, but that was just a fluke. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But if you have something you'd like to see me use, let me know. And I may not do it, so don't get your feelings hurt. It just depends on, you know, whether I have the supplies or whether I find something before you comment or whatever. But let me know if there's something you'd like me to share with you. I will be back again tomorrow, barring any um, complications in my schedule. I don't envision any. I canceled my dentist appointment because I figure I've done enough dentisty stuff lately. You guys saw my new tooth? Yeah, new tooth. And I'm amazed every time I'm like, oh yeah, I can chew on my right side now. It's a good feeling. Thank you, Jane. Jane says beautiful cards tonight. So make sure um, there's going to be a little box up in one of these corners, and I can never remember, but it's a, it's a link. If you click on it, it'll take you right to my blog where you can find my online store when you're watching later on YouTube. And I always appreciate your orders. Thank you guys so much. I have my chain going here to reach my million dollars. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. So every time I get another $10,000 closer, I tear off one of these chains. And we'll, I do that live so you guys can um, have fun with me. But we'll keep doing that until I hit that million. It is just around the corner. Well, it's $80,000 around the corner. <laughs> So, who am I kidding? But anyways, um, host code right here. Oh, it's backwards. XJTSHR3A. If you would like to place an order, I always appreciate it. <sighs> Have yourselves a wonderful Tuesday evening. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, make sure you, if you go any place where you're green so nobody pinches you. Just saying. <laughs> Bye, everybody.